As most U.S. companies have, have found out, particularly small and medium-sized companies over the past couple of decades, is that there's a huge global marketplace out there. It goes way beyond just marketing and selling in the domestic market. And in the case of HGI's product line, we believe that this is a line, and I've had 30 years of international experience, this is a line that offers potential like none other that I have seen. And I think that the best evidence of that, frankly, is some of the results that we've achieved over the past six to eight months since I've been associated with HDI. We've signed agreements with companies in Brazil, in the UK, in Uruguay, and today we are in serious discussions with distributors in countries like Mexico, Argentina, Chile, India, the Philippines, and Thailand. I frankly have never seen the kind of reaction from prospective companies that represent international product lines as I've seen in the case of HGI. Beyond, however, some of the contacts that we've made, we've actually achieved some tangible results. Uh, in Brazil, we recently started a uh, trial in the leading research hospital in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. We expect to have those results in the not too distant future, and we expect that they will represent a big boost to HGI in the field of healthcare. In Uruguay, we just installed one of HGI's products in a new agricultural market that was inaugurated just several weeks ago. It's a government project that was financed by the Inter-American Development Bank with an overall budget of $400 million. And we expect to use this opportunity to showcase the line, not only in Uruguay and some of the neighboring markets, but also to demonstrate the kind of interest that exists for this type of technology, for the HGI line, in markets worldwide. And finally, in the UK, we're just about to ship, I'm very pleased to note, our first order. And as the UK distributor said, he's got companies lined up with bated breath looking to this technology as a new solution to some of the problems that they have with bacteria, odors, and other type of microorganisms that affect their businesses. Well, they're using some of the traditional solutions, uh, mostly, mostly chemicals, and this would be a departure from that. In Brazil, we see several uh, key areas, I think, in the initial phase of attack or operation. Uh, the first is in healthcare, and the reason for that is we have a distributor in Brazil that whose personnel have over 75 years of healthcare experience collectively in that market. Uh, the second area is in food and beverage, and particularly in breweries, because we have contacts with a lot of the, the, the major breweries in Brazil. We've already had several meetings with a couple of them, and we think that that's an area of tremendous potential, particularly because HGI has made great strides in that area in the domestic market. Uh, the third area is in uh, meat processing. And the reason is that Brazil is a huge exporter of beef. And there are lots of opportunities in that area. As we all know, there are lots of uh, potential uh, problems in the, in the uh, processing of beef uh, with microorganisms, with bacteria, with virus. And we believe that with a product like uh, hydroxyl technology uh, will be in a good position to uh, confront uh, uh, some of the problems and take advantage of some of the opportunities that we see in meat processing in the Brazilian market. As a matter of fact, we've had a couple of meetings with the Brazilian Navy. They recognize that they have uh, all sorts of problems on their vessels and they're very, very interested in seeing what HGI's technology can do to bring down the levels of bacteria when they are uh, uh, on the high seas with their vessels. And as, as we've said before, where there really is nowhere to go, 
you're in a self-contained sort of sort of unit, and you have to be able to 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 resolve some of the some of the problems, the bacterial problems that you confront, or they're going to remain with you throughout the voyage. Well, I believe it's it's primarily because at HGI uh, we have a technology that really impresses people. Obviously, one can't guarantee results, but these prospective distributors, current and prospective as a matter of fact, uh, all recognize that there is almost limitless technology, or limitless, excuse me, opportunities with this, with this type of technology. In fact, uh, uh, one of the things I said to uh, one of the distributors in the, in the Philippines, uh, maybe in a, in a, in a bit of, uh, of emotion and excitement, is that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this technology not only replicates the energy of the sun, but it came down to us directly from heaven. <laughs> and I think the, that uh, after speaking about the technology and describing uh, what it can do, uh, that statement did uh, not seem uh, like an over-exaggeration. I think the first test uh, uh, that we've done is in Brazil, and I think that it will uh, serve as an example of what can be done with this type of technology in other markets as well. So for example, I would foresee a distributor in a major market like Mexico doing either a similar type test or other tests that would then strengthen the product offering in, in that market. And frankly, uh, one of the benefits of, of working with these international distributors, particularly ones that have what I would call uh, uh, special expertise in particular niches is that they can help HGI as well, not only in that particular market, but moreover in the global marketplace and perhaps including even in the U.S. and Canada where HGI already has a very strong presence. In terms of the Olympics, you have both the World Cup coming up next year and then the Olympics uh, coming up a couple of years later and I think it kind of speaks to the uh, the primacy of, the, of, of Brazil as a country, uh, holding those major events uh, in Brazil at this time. Uh, we don't have any specific plans at the moment for taking advantage of those events, but again, we really are just getting going in this market, and as we begin to gain leverage and to establish more and more of a presence and, 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 and gain more and more market penetration, I think we'll be in a position to, again, to sort of leverage that and to take advantage of some of the opportunities that may exist vis-a-vis -vis these, these major world events. My first contact with an HGI device actually was when I had a particular problem myself. My home was flooded uh, in December, uh, December of, of 2012, and I borrowed a, a boss unit, and I had a mold problem, and the boss unit was able to get rid of it pretty readily. So that was my first contact. I was very, very impressed, and uh, although I was, was clearly very interested in the product line before then, uh, having a personal experience, as Dr. Arap said just a moment ago, can only uh, sort of uh, strengthen your conviction and your confidence in the product line and the technology.